want to make an entry into the exciting world of advertising, well, like they say, the opportunities are all right there. All you have to do is just look for them. Today, let's explore a few of these gateways that take you exactly where you want to be in this dynamic field. With the field as competitive as advertising, any opportunity is hard fought and hard won. Portfolio Night is one such opportunity that comes as a blessing for these youngsters looking to bag a job in advertising. Held in across 20 cities at the same time, Portfolio Night is an excellent occasion for students to meet some of the big names from the advertising industry and present their work to them. It's so nice to see such sparkling uh, talent and, and I mean out of 10 people even if you meet one who's like that I think it's very it's, it's also very energizing for you as somebody who's been in the industry for long to kind of see that passion and freshness in the work so I really enjoyed that uh, and I sometimes feel that you know as people who kind of build our careers uh, we really ought to give a lot back to, to the profession and this is a very small way of doing it I mean we pretty much just giving like one evening out of a full year which is really nothing. But um, I wish there were more opportunities like this to kind of just give back to the industry uh, in a way. The expectations are high. The young people are a lot more exposed than we were um, while they're in their thinking. So you always look forward to a great interaction. You always look forward to people with uh, imagination. So I always look forward to portfolio nights. Students lined up and ready to put their advertising skills to the test at the 12th Portfolio Night held in Mumbai. Having been divided in three batches, these students are given just 45 minutes to crack three judges. With just 15 minutes in hand with each judge, the contenders present their ideas, aspiring to be one amongst three candidates who move over to the next round. Just went in for round one and um, it was super, super fast. It was kind of like speed dating, but they were really thorough with their critique and what they liked and disliked about the book. So it was really good. <laughs> it was really, really good. I got really good feedback. <laughs> so uh, for most of the stuff, I got really good feedback. So I'm happy. So yeah, I got contact numbers of creative directors. So that's a good sign, I guess. So. It was a brilliant experience as in for, uh, for one night you get to meet three big shot uh, creative directors from your industry seeing your portfolio it it really matters a lot because right now people uh, my batchmates they are running around to, to get jobs and so this is like a shortcut to your dreams it's, it's a little odd for a copywriter to say that I'm at a loss of words but right now I am so let's see what happens we all three are freshers so the issue is that we have advertising knowledge but we obviously don't have practical no industry knowledge so that that's where we are trying to get in right now and sort of understand how reality works. Interestingly, not everyone present here have a formal training in advertising. The event is thrown open to youngsters from different fields, but they all share one thing in common, looking for the scope to try their hand in advertising. I work for an insurance company and I'm looking for a change as in I want to get into an advertising agency. I actually wanted to get into this a long time back but I was I didn't have any contacts so I didn't know a way to get into this. Uh, my friend he got into Mudra and then he told me about this event so he told me to participate so this is how I'm here. And I've done engineering I'll be graduating this July but I want to get into advertising as a copywriter so that's what I was expecting from Portfolio Night and it went really nice I got an offer and I got the Hooters twice so some of my work was good and uh, initially I was a little nervous maybe I won't be able to carry on 15 minutes as a really long time but they were really friendly and it was more of a conversation and it was great. These creative minds are just one step away from bagging their dream job, a chance to work with some of the biggest names in the advertising industry and Portfolio Night gives them just that opportunity, their big break in advertising. What's more, the one lucky winner gets to go to New York and work on an advertising project with a prestigious company, also opening doors to the other contestants if you are able to impress the judges who are creative directors from top advertising agencies 
your dream job might just land on your lap. As is the case in every portfolio night, you meet a lot of them and some stand out. So I think I was lucky in meeting at least three really exceptionally talented people. I have met and I've spoken to a couple of friends as well and they seem to have met some people who are quite good. I, in the nine people that I have met, I have met three who are really, really good and I'm definitely thinking of probably getting two of them on board. Let's see how it goes. Opportunities like Portfolio Night come once in a way, but for students, they are quite literally the chance of a lifetime. A winning pitch might get you noticed by the top bosses directly. A process which usually can take years altogether, from advertising school to rising up the ranks. Because advertising is such a creative field and it's so much fun and interactive and there's always changes and there's no set rules, which is, which is what keeps the spirit alive and young. And, that is a, and the best part about it is you, you get paid for it. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing how, how challenging and yet fun it is. I want to work in a place where the culture is something that keeps me alive because I want to get into copywriting. So, wherein it's so engaging that I don't lose the spirit inside me that got me into this in the first place. Social media is the only front which is going to be dynamic enough to reach out to every place since internet is what we are switching to now more than uh, television it's YouTube where we look at advertisements so um, I look at industry more inclining towards social media and that's what I want to be ready for. In a bid to keep up with the changes that the field demands advertising colleges too have to constantly update their syllabus. Apart from this they also bring in professionals who give the students a first-hand account of what to expect once they choose this career path. Uh, suppose there is a f uh, shortcoming in one of the papers, for example, let's say media planning and buying as a paper or copywriting as a paper. You know that a faculty who is teaching it will not be completely updated with what's happening in the industry at that time. So what we do is we get the real media planner, a good copywriter to come and speak to the students so that the theory part, the basic fundamentals are taken care of by the faculty here. And then the industry, uh, you know, inputs are also there in the form of workshops and guest lectures. But do these ambitions and plans pan out just the way they expect? Does the struggle to stay ahead of the competition ever stop? From copywriting advertisements for brochures and newspapers, today, Arti Srinivasan copyrights television ads handling top clients like Surf Excel. And just what's her mantra for thriving in this field? So we have with us Aarti Srinivasan. She's been a part of the ad industry for the last seven years and is presently working for Low Lentas. So Aarti, what do you think is the most important factor students need to keep in mind if they're looking to pursue, you know, a fee, uh, like a career in advertising? I think uh, firstly, it's passion is extremely important because in our industry, everybody is passionate about what they do. They come to office with a big, broad smile on their face and they're all more like friends. There's nothing like he's a boss or he's a senior. So I think passion is extremely important. You need to be able to tell stories. So if you're in college and you've cooked up a lot of excuses for coming late to your professors, I think you've got the art of storytelling. So that's the second thing, I guess, which is needed. And I also feel that if you want to be in advertising, you need to think like a child. Uh, like you need to observe a lot. You need to see the world in a new way. Imagination is extremely important. Uh, ask stupid questions. Ask the brief. Ask stupid questions to the brief. Stuff like that, I guess. And also, uh, kids don't have any inhibitions. So you need not have any inhibitions to share your ideas, etc. So I guess uh, all of these are passion being first, love for telling stories being the second. And uh, also, you need to be okay with failure. I think res resilience is extremely important because each and every day your idea gets rejected and you cannot be bogged down by it. So uh, keep trying, keep working hard, and then you will sail through. Advertising is a promising field that has been attracting more and more students. But does your struggle really end after you back that dream job? Well, experts in the industry clearly don't think so. Coming up after this break, we bring you more on digital advertising. Stay tuned.